You know, I think I love this picture a little bit too much. This is hilarious. Here we have Masika Kalisha, no makeup on, looking like the flawless dime piece that she is. I'm not just saying that because I'm a Masika Kalisha fan and stan. I truly think she's one of the most beautiful women on reality television, actually one of the most beautiful women in Hollywood in general. And on this selfie, as, is, as adorable as it is, it's also freaking hilarious. It says, her little hands, heart emoji, trying to hold on to mommy. <laughs> She's not trying to hold on. She's trying to wring your neck. <laughs> She's like, Mommy and Daddy, stop fighting on social media. <laughs> no, let me stop being silly. But yeah, you know, Fetty Wap and Masika were going back and forth to social media recently. It was epic. It, it, was, it was damn ridiculous. And the shade room caught the tea. So, or rather, poured the tea. Thank you to the shade room for the following information. Masika said, Yeah. You've been on the way to see her for five days. I'm sorry that you keep getting lost. Must be frustrating. God bless you at Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap said to her, This is your first go around. My oldest five years old. Shut the fuck up and stop complaining. Masika replied by saying, Lovely picture you posted yesterday that I didn't want posted. You should post the recent one of you and KB together. Oh, wait, social media daddying is at an all time high. She goes on to say, somebody get my baby daddy a GPS. He's so silly. He keep getting lost. Fetty says to Masika, this ain't about a kid. This about your feelings. I ain't get to even see Zaza birth or be there almost the first N.O., not K.N.O.W. So apparently... Fetty doesn't know the difference between no and no. But anyways, <laughs> Masika goes on to say, oh, but I don't have feelings. Laughing, crying emoji. And that's unfortunate, but I'm done playing Twitter fingers with you today. Talk to you later. Smiling emoji. Exactly. Which is why when you hit me up at 10 p.m. talking about is she up? I said no. Come in the morning. But who cares? Guys, I'm not mad. Clowns are meant to make jokes with. I'm being being silly. Now, for some reason, they repeated that message when Fetty said, this ain't about a kid. This about your feelings. I ain't get to even see Zaza birth or be there almost the first year, but she know her daddy. I never gave a fuck about you. Wow, Fetty. Stop trying to play me. I'm done going back and forth. Say what you want about me. Just don't lie on me. And like I said, my oldest five. I've been past the baby phase. This your first time, you wouldn't understand. I wasn't coming to your house at no 2 a.m. to see a three-month-old baby. It's not that serious. Yeah, I don't got one because I ain't come see her. So, I don't even understand what the hell he's saying. I don't understand that language. Anyways, Masika said, Hope hit me at 10 p.m. Told you she wasn't up at Fetty Wap. So, she posted some messages going back and forth with Fetty and at the top it says Kari's father so I guess it's his name and her phone anyway so Fetty said to Masika she still up Masika replied no she gets up to eat every two hours Fetty replied oh damn I <laughs> Masika you should stay with her tonight Fetty like bring her to my hotel Masika no I don't take her out this late Come to my house. I have three rooms. Fetty. <laughs> laughing out loud. Nah, I can't do that. I don't mind coming to your house, but I can't spend the night over there. Masika. You can't stay with your daughter? So, Masika also went out to tweet the following. She said, Ninja wannabe Gilbert Arena so bad. I'm not doing this with you. I'm busy raising your daughter. Bye, dear. I'll be sure to send you Lord pictures. I guess she meant to say more pictures with a kissing emoji you hit me at 10 p.m talking about is she up uh no but said i you should stay with her over or come the next day okay not perfectly sure what she was trying to say right there anyways she goes on to say since you're screenshotting today and she posts a picture of <laughs> some messages between the two of them so fetty says don't get that i love how you treat and defend her Make me feel comfortable knowing you're her mom. So I sit back and get my money 
Everything you're experiencing, I did twice with my own kids and twice with my nieces. And Masika replied by saying, TMZ ain't outside my door. I don't care what you did before with this one or that one. You don't live here. You live where your other kids are. You see them. My child deserves two parents. I shouldn't be texting you. You should be with your kid. Ninja, I don't want your ass. If I did, you would be here. Don't flatter yourself. Been there, done that. I'm over it. She just woke up to eat, smiling and laughing, and really to play. I guess you meant to say ready to play. I look at her, and I see you. And she doesn't even know you. That shit breaks my heart. At some point, you gotta let that pride shit go. I only want what's best for her. So, thank you to the Shave Room for pouring that steaming hot tea. But let me just say this, man. This is sad. We're talking about people's lives here, man. We're talking about this beautiful baby that's not even a year old. We're talking about a celebrity musician and a celebrity reality TV show star slash model video vixen. And here they are together, you know, going back and forth because they had a very short-lived relationship where Masika wound up pregnant, which some people were saying on social media, oh, she quote-unquote trapped him. But if that's the case, then how, how and why did he allow himself to be quote unquote trapped? You know what I'm saying? Why would you put yourself in that type of situation where something like this could happen? And that's neither here nor there because the baby's here. So let's talk about it a little bit here. Oh, man, this is this is just really sick. And you know what? I'm not even going to be biased because with me being a Masika fan and with me being neutral with Fetty, you know, I'm not going to. I'm not going to be biased. I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. All right. So Masika pointed out the fact that Fetty is, you know, with his other children. I, I guess she means over on the East Coast, you know, with him being from New Jersey and whatnot. Like Lizay, that's one of the other ladies who he ended up impregnating, Lizay Ziona. And he has a daughter with her who happens to be a baby as well. So, I mean, these are really young kids all uh, that he had all around the same time. You know, I don't know if it's because he got some new money and just <laughs> lost his mind trying to smash everything moving. I don't know. I guess he would have to explain the story behind that. But anyways, she's from New Jersey, just like Fetty. So, you know, I guess he gets to see Zaza, you know, more often than he gets to see Kari Barbie Maxwell. But if Masika lives over there on the West Coast, isn't that something that you would think about, you know, before having sex with somebody like, damn, dude lives on the East Coast. I live on the West Coast. If anything were to ever happen where things would either get serious or I became pregnant, if he's 3000 miles away, he's probably not going to see the child too often or see me too often. Could you imagine having <laughs> to hop on a flight when somebody needs you? You know, it's just really inconvenient to live that far away from somebody. So I would hope that she would, you know, think these things out before she even did anything with Fetty. Like, damn, he lives across the country. I don't know if this is a good idea. What if things get serious one way or another? So I would hope that she would think about that beforehand. But sometimes when you're in love or you're in lust, you know, those types of things don't really cross your mind. But Basika is a really smart cookie. I would think that she would think about something like that. You know, she... Seems like the type of person who thinks things out before she does things, or at least that's just my opinion. I think Masika brought up a great point when she said that her, her child deserves two parents. Absolutely, Kari does deserve two parents. However, Fetty Wap is out there doing his thing. And when I say he's doing his thing, I mean he's doing plenty of women's things. I mean, he's out here beating up and skeeting up all sorts of things. Fetty is out here smashing every hole he sees. Yeah, I never play golf with him, but you know, I think it's really interesting though that she said that TMZ is not outside of her door. And you know, with her being over there in California, and that's <laughs> I mean, I I guess Fetty is like, you know what? This is gonna be really difficult for me to deal with. Cause he got all these damn paparazzi and whatnot. You know, it's it's freaking Hollywood. He's some dude from New Jersey. He probably feels like he's really out of his element in, in some ways over there and <laughs> Over there in Cali, he's probably like, well, shit, it's a whole nother world out here when he gets out there, you know. But, you know, Masika brought up some great points and whatnot, but I got to ask, man, 
Couldn't they keep this off of social media? Can't mofos just give each other a call nowadays? Like, do we all have to know everybody's business? You know, this is why Kermit is so famous now. He's always having to tell everybody that's none of my business because he's like, well, shit, y'all, y'all just pouring all the tea, just spilling it everywhere. But then again, we wouldn't have anything to talk about. And I love talking about Masika because she's bad as hell. Here I go again with being biased. Can you blame me? But anyways, hopefully these two crazy kids will get it together. Because I know deep down inside they do have some love for each other. They lay down with each other. They made a beautiful daughter together. And I know that they deep down inside have love for each other. I know it. You guys can do it. You can figure out a way to do this. To make it work. To compromise. For the sake of your daughter. So, anyways, this is all my opinion. I have love for Fetty Wap. I have love for Masika, of course. Duh. Masika. Who doesn't have love for Masika? I mean, she's Queen Sika. Anyways. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.